Chief Razor, how about yourself? All right, let me get a few comments, man, from under that mask. I know you are protected. Yes, sir, give me a moment to get it off here. What's well, happening here down here in Warrior Stand today? Well, uh, Chief, this is what I would call our third rural area COVID vaccination and testing clinic. Uh, it's very important that we do these clinics and bring these services to our citizens in our rural communities because just based on the 2020 census data, 51.8% of our citizens live outside the corporate city limits of Tuskegee. So we need to be out here where our other 51.8% of our people live. Absolutely. So today we have Alabama Department of Public Health. We have Tuskegee University RAVE 2 project. We have uh, TM46. We're providing tests for PCR as well as rapid tests. We also, in order to uh, build relationships outside of our community with our partners, we reached out to Mulberry Medical Associates in Montgomery, Dr. Jernigan, Dr. Taylor, and Dr. Uh, McLeod, and they're here today providing the vaccinations for us. They're providing Pfizer and Moderna first shots, second shots, as well as the boosters. We're also offering boosters for young people ages 12 and up. So we, so far we've had one young person to get a booster and one senior person to get a second shot. So we're here today, and as uh, extra incentive, Tuskegee University Rave 2 is here with door prizes and gifts. Alabama Department of Public Health is here as well with gifts and door prizes, and Mulberry Medical Associates inside is with gifts and door prizes as well. So we ask people to come on out, but keep and stay in touch because we will be doing more of these clinics throughout our rural part of our county. Thank you. Very good, sir. Why do you do this? You have uh, enough responsibilities back in your office. Well, for me, this is not a responsibility but I, that my office do, but I think I have a moral obligation to use the office to influence people to come together to serve our citizens. The greatest good is when we serve others uh, in our community, not so much for ourselves, but to help our other brothers and sisters and to lift them up. Judging if more of us felt that way, our community would be a lot better off, wouldn't it? Yes, sir. It's all about not me. It's about us together. Uh, we have to always serve our weakest link and pull everybody up as best we can, those who want to be helped. So the feeling I'm here. 
We're down here in the Washington community and we are having a COVID-19 clinic. We're giving uh, both of the tests and uh, if anybody needs the shot, we're giving the shot and the booster. And uh, we got some prize to give away. And uh, in that then if you want some hot fish, we got some hot fish to give everybody today also. Why are you doing it when you don't have to? Say it again, uh, Why are you doing it when you don't have to? Well, uh, we're doing it for, for the safety of, of the community and for safety for people in the community, kind of wild, and uh, uh, we just do it for safety. All right, then. Mm -hmm. you, you want the people to come out and do what? Get tested, right? Get, get tested. If they need a shot, please take the shot. If they need the booster, please take the booster. All right, who are these mighty fine women sitting here with you? Let me, let me get them here. Hey, honey, we're crazy. Hey, there. Hey, there. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Today. Why are you down here volunteering today? Listen, I respect the health and safety of my fellow Macon Italians, and I want everyone to do what's best for their health and fellowship. In a situation where we are masked up, we have sand, hand sanitizer, sanitizing our hands, and, and getting to enjoy the fellowship with our fellow making county. I'm enjoying myself. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you didn't have anything to say? No, no, no we're just supporting the county and our, our, our um, commissioner. Yeah, commissioner. Well, okay. Thank yeah. you, ma'am. Commissioner Maxwell. All right. Appreciate you, ladies. And I'm in District 2 also. All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm volunteering to yes, giving oh, COVID oh. vaccines with Mulberry Medical. Please come on out and get your vaccine today. <laughs> All right. Now, why do you do this when you don't have to? Because it's about service, and, you know, we have to give back to our community, and that's what life's about. If you can't give, I mean, really, yeah. So... I try to do my part. Well, you are, and I appreciate it. <laughs> well, thank you, Chief. Thank you. Alabama vaccination education camp. So we are kind of educating people on vaccinations. They have any uh, how the vaccine works. They have if they have any doubts and queries on vaccines. A group of people of students from Tuskegee University. Uh, we, are, we are volunteer. We are explaining people to get vaccinated. Make sure that they have any doubts on regarding vaccines and other thing. We are here to clarify the doubts and uh, queries of the public here. Very good. What is your name, sir? My name is Suman. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, we are here from Tuskegee University and Rave. Rave means rural Alabama um, vaccination education program. Yes, we are conveying the information about the COVID-19 and this vaccination. What are the side effects? Uh, why you need to take the vaccine? And what are the symptoms of the COVID-19? Just like that, we are conveying the information of that. That's all. Okay. Why don't you choose as a young person to get involved? Uh, which, can you please uh, say it again? That, uh, okay. Uh, young person, uh, we just, uh, we are trying to focus for young person. But uh, on the basis of that availability, just we are trying to reach out to all, of, all the people, just all uh, young we're trying to reach out to all all the people. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
diabetes prevention, uh, chronic disease self-management, along with our tobacco, um, um, what is it, tobacco, tobacco, tobacco task force. Mm -hmm. And um, here we have different things that we do, we're displaying. Um, the ocular artery, and we're just showing you how when your arteries are clogged, mm -hmm. you want your blood flow to come through like this. But when we have unhealthy ways, this is what happens to our blood flow. And you can also see back here how it's not able to flow through as well as it is over here. And here we're displaying our healthy plate. We have your protein, your chicken breast. We have rice with a pat of butter. Also broccoli and uh, carrots. And some people have, have, I've noticed that some people have noticed saying that they don't like rice. You can always remove that rice and add you another vegetable in possibly some green beans or just add you in uh, a fruit to go with that. And for and, those people who don't like, should you only be eating what you like or what you should give them some consideration to eating what's good for you? Okay, it's, it's best to try to get a variety of items. Yes, you can stick with what you like, but um, trying different foods. Just, just uh, taking that leap to try different foods and you sometimes you'll find out because I thought I didn't like asparagus <laughs> well I guess I found out I like asparagus also um, Brussels sprouts sometimes it's just a matter of how it's being prepared sometimes you have to look at it when you prepare it different ways sometimes it'll make it uh, edible for you and you'll find that you may like it you know you just grew up saying that you don't like it but yeah I just say try a variety of things and, um, and build up your palate for different um, vegetables Using and getting involved with these different foods, there's nothing wrong with eating, but you just want to balance. You just want to balance. You want to be able to eat the amount of food that's going to be beneficial towards your body. Because eating foods that are heavily enriched with a lot of sodium, eating food that's um, enriched with a lot of fat is going to be detrimental to the body. So you want to just take your take your time and taking the moderation whatever that you eat. And for example, uh, just one of our drinks here, a lot of these drinks are filled with sugar. So like your fruit smoothies, like chocolate milk, um, everyone favors like a Coca-Cola. Um, they are filled with all these different sugars which can lead to a lot of problems down the road such as diabetes. So you want to be able just to do things in moderation so you can be able to have a healthy quality of life. Okay, I and should And sir, do. I cannot leave out <laughs> okay. our COVID education programs. We also have two COVID programs that actually partner with uh, different people in the Macon, Montgomery, and Lowndes areas. And we're actually right now partnering with uh, Dr. Dina Maxwell Stafford at the Rima Health and Wellness. And we have weekly clinics on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And that's just something that we do to help uh, bring access to vaccine access to different communities. Okay, and your organization is? The Wellness Coalition in Montgomery, Alabama, and we love Macon County. <laughs> <laughs> and we love you for caring about us, too. Okay, thank you all very much. Well, we're back to doing, again, the PCR testing and the uh, rapid uh, test. Um, so you can get either either one, uh, particularly if the rapid test comes back positive, then you've got the option of having a PCR test that will give you a definitive, a more definitive uh, diagnosis in uh, 48 hours with the, the test that we're using since it's, a, it's a Saturday. Probably wouldn't get your results until tomorrow or Monday from uh, the university. But this is just another day of trying to make sure we get uh, as much of Macon County vaccinated or and or tested because you do need to remember that the testing is uh, essential uh, as we go continue um, fighting the, this pandemic um, here in Boys Stan today. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Appreciate you. Today we're rendering two types of um, testing. We're doing rapid testing, which is screening, and we're doing the PCR testing um, for confirmatory for COVID. So if you would like to be tested for COVID and you get your results right here, this is where you need to be for the rapid. But with the PCR screening, with the confirmation, we send it to Tuskegee Lab and you get the results in, two to, in about one to three days. Okay, thank you, ma'am. And what's your organization here? 
<laughs> Basically, we volunteer from uh, St. Mark where we are doing just following to the services. Okay, very good. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So I'm with the Alabama Department of Public Health. We are here with the Family Health Services for family planning. We really want to advocate for the HPV vaccine. If you get the vaccine, you up to the age of 45 and as young as nine years old, it's two to three doses and it prevents six different types of cancer. So obviously, what's the better cure than cancer is not needing one in the first place. Um, so we wanted to advocate for that. These are all the Macon County Health Department or your local health department in any county. We also want to advocate for our family planning services. So you can get your physical exam, you can get any type of testing for HIV, STIs, and your birth control and vaccinations for a little to no cost. You can get it at the health department, and again, the closest one may be Macon County Health Department. Okay, could I have a copy of either one of those? You can have a copy of both. It is the Alabama Department of Public Health, the ADPH uh, Family Planning Program. Okay, and your name, please? It is Neda Alasi. Okay. Chairman Maxwell, you did it again. What do you have to say? for yourself, your team, and your people. Well, first of all, let me say give thanks to God for this beautiful weather that he provided for us. He always seemed to have favor on us when we do this Amen. project, and I just thank him so much. Yes. And I want to thank this outstanding team. You know, yes. I, I say we had the best fish, the best looking fish, and the best tasting <laughs> fish. And, and that's because I've got a great team here. And, and, and believe it or not, Doug, you're part of our team because had you not been a part of our team, I've been trying to play music and do all this, and you took care of the music. So these ladies, we got some good fish out today. But this has been an outstanding day for us, and we want to continue this effort up because we're still in a pandemic, and we've got to constantly remind ourselves and remind each other that we have not gotten over the hump yet. But we're going to make it, but we're going to do what we need to do. We're going to continue to mask up, we're going to continue to get tested, we're going to continue to get vaccinated and boosted if you have not done so, because it's so important. Yes, it All of these tools will help us get through this pandemic and eventually yes. get out of this pandemic. Yes. But we're not out of it yet but we're on our way. Yes. And I just want to thank all of our volunteers who came out to work so hard as usual. They've been here, everyone we had. And I want to thank Judge Cooper for his leadership in this because uh, he, he, he volunteered to take this initiative on and we vowed to support him 100%. And he's done a yeoman job and he's excited about it and I'm excited and everybody's out here been excited. So we just thank the people for, for supporting it. Again, uh, we look forward. Next, we're going to District 4 next. We don't have the date set yet, but we're going to District 4. Uh, we, we just regret our colleague, late colleague, Mike Berry, would not be with us because that was one of the things he was really we're looking forward to this yes. clinic coming to District 4. Yes, but we're going to go ahead and go to in, in his honor. As soon as we select the date, we're going to make the announcement. I do know we will be at the D District 27 Community Center. So we get ready, here we come. Get ready, here we come. And Chief, and I want to thank you for always being our supporters. I don't think you've missed one yet. So we want to certainly appreciate you because your, your support of this has really helped us, your publicity you've given us. And we thank you for getting the word out to the people because all that's important. We are a team working together to get through this thing. And together we will do it. Absolutely. Now, what district is this and what address is it and what community does it this, serve? This is District 2. And we're serving the community, reach out to the community of Bourbonville, uh, Creek Stand, Warrior Stand. We're in Warrior Stand right now. Warrior Stand, uh, Hannah. Uh, those areas, those are our primary areas that we reached out to for, for this clinic. But we served all over because uh, uh, we're down at the District 2 uh, Community Center located on County Road 5 down here in Warrior Stand. Okay, what do you say to the people who came out today? I said thank you. Thank you for everybody who came out. Thank you. Help spread the word. Continue to, 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 to do due do diligence and, and, and remind yourself and continue to remind others that we are still in a pandemic. Yes. Okay, team, can I get an amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, Commissioner, did these people serve your community well today? Uh, we, we did good uh, today, consider, the, uh, consider that we had uh, two funerals in this area. I think we did we were very, very good today. And, it, uh, and I thank God for giving us some good weather today, good sunshine and weather.
Well, all right, there. I, I, I am well pleased. 